Um, something went wrong here. Something definitely went wrong here. What's up guys, your boy Alan Wade back again with another dope video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be comparing two different heat presses. We wanna know, is it worth upgrading your heat press? If you pay more money, is it better? Uh, I, I don't know, let's find out. We have our Heat Press Nation Craft Pro. You can purchase this right now on Heat Press Nation. I think it runs about $439. Or you can get something like this. Well, you can't get this one right here because I've had this one well over 10 years, maybe over 15 years to be honest with you guys. And I purchased it from eBay. I don't even think they sell it anymore. I purchased like two, I purchased this one and I purchased a cap press along with it. I don't think it was $200. I think it was like $159 and then another $159 for the cap press. But yeah, uh, I don't really remember. It wasn't over $200 though, definitely. And it's lasted a long time. So we're gonna see if I notice the difference pressing something between this old, 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 old cheap heat press versus this newer, better technology, but still an expensive heat press. We're gonna see if we notice the difference. Again, um, Everybody wants to know this. I know I want to know if there was a difference, but in the comments down below real fast, which one would you prefer having? I think I know the answer to this question, but in the comments down below, let me know which one you think you would rather have, guys. And also I'm gonna link a video right up here in this section right here of a video that I did about this heat press and the things I dislike about it, guys. So subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into this video. Ada Productions. So we are in Sawgrass Creative Studio. Got our design all loaded up. We have our SG500 heat transfer warehouse links down below if you want to purchase your sublimation printer. And we're going to press print out this design to press onto uh, these two different heat presses, guys. So Creative Studio, follow along. Just press uh, print. You got everything ready over here. Come over here and select the available sawgrass machine. And then we select a tray that we're gonna use, tray number two. Legal size paper is correct. Polyester, that's the correct paper. And then we press print to start up print manager. Print manager normally takes a little bit of while, a little while to launch. So what I'm gonna do, what I found is when I go down here and I press this, uh, you, you got to get this this uh, successfully queued. Okay, so press OK after you get that successfully queued. When I press Print Manager, it goes to the front. So when it pops up, now it should pop up in the front. All right, so we'll see if that holds true, guys, because we know from the other videos, Print Manager takes quite some time to pop up and uh, most times it pops up behind the screen and that's because Print Manager was not the proper was not the app that was selected to the front. The app that's selected to the front normally shows like up here. So that's why I went down here and selected the print manager app. So when it pops up, it'll be in the front and it'll pop up over top of the screen. So let's see if that holds true. I'm, I'm like 99% sure. Just taking a long time. Like I said, print manager normally takes a long time to pop up. So just talk to you guys in the meantime. Um, had a subscriber uh, yesterday, guys, that, um, oh, there's print manager. We're gonna leave that alone. Had a subscriber yesterday that um, said that I talk too much and I solicit too much, but um, guys, you gotta understand I do this full time and um, sometimes in videos, I run out of things to say. And when I run out of things to say, I start repeating stuff. So and that's 100% what happens sometimes. So I, I don't know, but people, find it irritating sometimes so I don't know so tray number two polyester print text print R is a paper I'm using high quality tray number two and what happened right there is in layout it was on eight and a half by eleven when it's eight and a half by eleven you get that message right there so you got to correct um, send the the right paper you got to select the right paper which is eight and a half by fourteen that's what's in the uh, sublimation printer okay so it's ready to print the print manager has already mirrored our image and I have one big one and one little one just because I don't want to waste paper, guys. So I'm just gonna print two of them, one each. And right here, I'm gonna press two. I'm gonna go to jobs under the menu. menu. I'm talking real fast, let me slow down. 
go to jobs and select two because I'm going to um, print out two pieces of paper. All right. So let's just go ahead and press print and let's see how long it takes to go from here to over here. So that is as simple as it is, guys, to uh, print something out in Creative Studio. What I would advise people to do, like, I, like I've said before in previous videos, is make your design in a Photoshop or another application and then import it into Creative Studio. Now, this specific design right here came from one of our affiliates, Vexels. Um, affiliate links will be down below, but Vexels is basically, oh look, there it is. It's uh, available, but we have an alert on the screen, so we got to clear up that alert. There's a red alert right here, so you got to see what it says on the screen. It says tray one, uh, change tray one to following settings, custom size IJ plane. So what we have to do is go into the menu. Or just hit change. Yeah, tray one, custom IJ paper. Tray one, got to go all the way down here to custom. Eight and a half by 14, which is correct. All right, so we hit escape. And what's weird, that just cleared it up. I didn't even change anything, to be honest with you. <laughs> I didn't even change anything. You guys saw that, right? So anyway, that was a silly alert. Anyway, guys, um, so Vexel is an app that you pay a membership to have access to thousands and thousands and thousands of designs. And this design right here on the screen that we're printing out right now, coming out of the SG500, is one of the designs that came from Vexel. So if you're not a graphic designer, if you suck at that, you can still make money selling t-shirts. If you have a subscription to a, a service like Vexel, all right? So it's Vexels with an S at the end, actually. Um, the link to Vexels will be down in the description below so you guys can check out Vexels and see if that's something that you would be interested in. And the best thing about it is it's royalty free. You don't have to pay any money to, uh, to use the designs and they're ready to be pressed onto your shirts. They have silhouettes for the silhouette cameo. They have PNG files that can be changed. They have thousands and thousands of images like this, thousands and thousands of all types of images. All right, so yeah, you see our design right here is already mirrored. So I'm just gonna trim this one away from that one right there with a uh, X-Acto knife. And then I'm just gonna get the heat presses ready to press both of them on. Notice how non-vibrant the color is, but we're gonna compare it to um, after we press it on. I can't wait to see if a more expensive press makes a difference. We'll see in a little while, guys. Hey guys, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button and throw that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ada Productions, yes. Here we go with our first press. I'm just over here grabbing my sublimation paper right here getting everything ready gonna put my shirt this is a silky silky small silky silky shirt on the press got our image right here we're gonna put the sublimation the uh we're gonna put the uh butcher paper on the inside right here All right, boom, got the butcher paper on the inside. Oh, just not having a slide out drawer. Don't miss not having a slide out drawer. Okay, so now we got our butcher paper on the inside. Piece of butcher paper right here. Gonna line up our design right here. Boom. Put a piece of butcher paper on top. And we're gonna press this for 70 seconds. And this is our old school heat press, guys. Let's see how this turns out. And after we do this, I'm gonna sit it on the side right here as a first. Then the other one's gonna be on the side right here as a second. So we don't get them mixed up. The first one is gonna be sat right here. 
second one's gonna be set over here all right so we don't get the shirts mixed up all right a dub production we're approaching 70 seconds right now and not auto open the timer goes off we pull this up boom move that and let's just remove our material looks good we had a bit of an accident where some water got on this paper but overall it looks pretty good the water got on the paper right there but that won't stop us from comparing them right all right so i'm going to set this one to the side right over here let it cool off right over here on the side all right now let's get um let's get ready let's get our second heat press ready all right if you haven't done so already please hit that like button i greatly appreciate it thank you we are on our heat press nation craft pro and we are going to slide it out have the luxury of having a slide out drawer that's one of the benefits of paying a little bit more money and having access to something like this but guys i'm going to tell you right now um, at heat transfer warehouse they have a embroidery machine there that is a little bit less expensive than the craft pro i'll put the link to that heat press with a slide out drawer down below in the description that's my am that's my uh, affiliate link for heat transfer warehouse so if I could do it all over again, to be honest with you guys, but th that machine just came out and this machine, uh, that machine wasn't out at around the time that I bought this, but I would much prefer that machine as opposed to this one. Um, to be honest with you guys, it's less money and um, it doesn't have the issues that I don't like about this one. All right, so um, let me grab my image right here and we are going to put it right on here like so then we are going to place the butcher paper on top slide it back and just press it and once again this gets um 60 i mean 70 seconds so let's let that count down and we'll be right back guys once again we got our old design the one for the uh the cheap heat press right here leaving it right there we're going to put the other one right there and then um I'll let you guys, we're gonna compare it. A-Dub Productions. All right, guys, here we go. Let me just pull that up right there. Move that to the side. All right. Grab our design, take it off. And already, um, something went wrong here. Something definitely went wrong here because this did not transfer good at all. We still got all the color on the paper. Something went horribly wrong here. I'm trying to figure out what went wrong. This is the first. This is very, very interesting. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. Uh, very, very interesting. What the heck just happened? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do, guys. I'm going to print out another one of these i should have printed out i'm printing out another one of these all the colors on here what the heck just happened i'm gonna print out another one of these and um and i'm gonna press it onto another shirt i don't know what just happened i'm just i'm, I'm totally i'm totally lost right now all right so we gotta run that back definitely because that was not supposed to happen what the hell that is that is ridiculous if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button i greatly appreciate it, it helps me out a lot thank you all right guys uh take two let's see how this goes i'm glad you guys caught that because um some weird stuff has always happened to me when i'm making videos for y'all i did nothing out of the ordinary um i didn't the only thing I could think about is the platen wasn't heated up enough, but it was on 400 degrees. So I'm thinking it wasn't hot enough. I don't know, but those colors on that sheet popping. So I have no idea what just happened just now. Colors on that sheet are popping, but colors on the shirt wasn't. All right, so, and this is a 100% polyester shirt. All right, so here we go. Put this design down on the shirt. Once again, 100% poly. 
cover it up, press, 70 second press. Guys, we're at 400 degrees and it's counting down from 70 seconds. All right. Something's wrong with my press, guys, because this timer is not moving. What the freak? Something's wrong with this press. Wow, unbelievable. <sighs> this timer is not counting down. I have no idea what time this is on. <sighs> I'm so pissed off right now. Grab my phone real fast. We gonna say that's around, jeez man. This is unbelievable. This timer is not moving. This is unbelievable. I don't believe this. Never drop this thing, I, I, I don't. Look, it did it, 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 did it though. Interesting. Timer was not counting down, but it went off at 70 seconds, I'm assuming. So, let's see if it transferred this time. Yes, it did. Put this on this side. Yo. That was so weird. Now let me see something. Normally the timer goes down. I can see the timer move when I press normally. Nope. Timer is not moving. Is that my imagination of the timer? You know what? I am messing with this thing. All right, guys, let's compare. All right, guys, let's check out these two images. This one is from my old school heat press. You can see how it looks. Still looks vibrant, still looks good. Um, now we're gonna move over to the Heat Press Nation Craft Press, guys. Clearly, you can see the difference between the two heat presses. This one looks more vibrant, has crisp, more crisp lines. Again, look at the uh, old school heat press. Still looks good, still usable, but um, um, disregard that little spill right there. That's where I spilled the water. It's a little lighter right there, but um, look at the uh, design overall. It's just a little bit lighter just a little bit less vibrant than this one right here. This one right here is a clear winner, Heat Press Nation. Um, the, so this this will prove that like, or it should show that like, if you buy a heat press that costs a little bit more money, has a better heating element, that you'll get a slightly better transfer. Despite the little small hiccup that we had, I can't really attest to that, but um, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened there. Very, very light. It didn't even transfer at all. Um, as you guys can see, all it made the uh, transfer pop. It's almost like it transferred to the transfer paper and not to the shirt. It's weird. I've never had that happen to me before. I can't explain exactly what happened. Um, uh, it's, like I said, it's never happened to me before. That it was heated up. Um, I have no idea what happened or why that happened. Um, unexplainable, unforeseen things and weird stuff always happens to me when I'm making these videos and I like to keep them in there to show you guys. But this one right here looks really, really good um, versus this one right here. You can see it's, I, I'd actually say it's significantly dull. Um, you can leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Um, I think that the one with the old school press, I, I would say the old school press is, so, is still good, obviously reliable, but the um, newer one definitely did a better job, even though we had that little error right there. I can't, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, guys. That was an interesting video. I did not anticipate, nor has anything like that ever happened to my Heat Press Nation Craft Press. Um, that was interesting, but nonetheless, you guys can clearly see on the video that it does make a difference, the type of heat press you have, um, the quality of the press and the quality of transfer that you will get. The side-by-side -side picture um, that you guys saw on the screen clearly shows 
that the heat press station craft press um, transferred the garment better, even though it had a little mishap. I don't know exactly what happened. I, I, I can't explain it. You guys in the comments down below can explain to me what you guys think happened, but it was heated up. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it didn't work for a second. I, I, maybe it wasn't heated. Maybe the platen didn't come, uh, wasn't hot enough, but it said 400 degrees on the, on the screen. So I don't know guys, I don't know. And in between when I went to go, uh, print out another design, maybe it heated up again. I don't know, but so I made a previous video reviewing that press and I showed you guys and I told you guys the things that I didn't like about it. Now on top of that, it seems as though there might be a slight reliability issue with the machine. So um, I would not actually recommend you guys buy that press. The one that I would recommend you buy, which is less expensive and on Heat Transfer Warehouse's website, I'm gonna put the description down below. It's the Walla Press, the Walla Press. It has a slide out drawer. All the features of this one cost less money and it's reliable. I don't have it, but I know some people uh, that do have it and I've seen some videos on it and I can attest that it is a better heat press than the Heat Press Nation craft press guys. Uh, so I'm gonna put my heat transfer warehouse link down below for the Walla Press. It's a 15 by 15, has a slide out drawer. All the features of this one, it's basically just a slide out drawer, minus the headaches of your clothes getting snagged at the neck and stuff like that. So I'll put the link to that down below. They have some available right now, so pick yours up today. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Instagram.com backslash Productions. Don't forget to subscribe to Philadelphia Public League Sports. Um, uh, on YouTube. Don't forget to follow my other channel, Alan Wade, youtube.com backslash Alan Wade, and follow me on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Adub Productions, facebook.com backslash Philadelphia Public, League, Philadelphia Public League Sports also, guys. Um, and that's it for today. Use my links down below. I'm saying it again. Heat Trans Warehouse, uh, the vinyl stand, uh, Amazon. Um, that's it, guys. I appreciate you guys so much for all that you guys have done to, for me just thus far and all that you continue to do for me. You guys are gonna be impressed really, really soon because I have something really, really awesome coming up that I've been working on and that I'm continue to work on and it's going to help a lot of people um, in Philadelphia, particularly the youth. I'm working on a large project. Some of you guys know, some of you guys are kind of kind of know a little bit, but it's going to be big. It's going to be big. And I can't wait to see the impact that I can make in helping these kids out. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Like, comment, subscribe channel if you're not already. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Turn up that, while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.